Hey everyone, it's Ben. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. I'm on tour with Tosca, supporting Arcane Roots all around Europe, which feels crazy to say because it's just amazing and I'm really, really enjoying it. Steam transition. We are in Hanover at Lux venue and this is show number three on the Arcane Roots Melancholia Hymns tour. It's been amazing so far and we're just, we're still on a high being able to come out with these guys on this tour because it's a big one for them and we're just really happy. So yeah, it's going to be sick tonight. Small little venue, but I reckon it's going to be one of those dirty, sweaty and really loud venues. So I'm excited. got Rabir here, who's trying to distract me off camera, but it's failing. I'm not doing anything. It's failing because he's just basic. He's just a basic individual. Just a raccoon eating some grapes. My favorite thing about Tor in Tosca is being able to play across the street from Spielhalle, which is some sort of adult club. No, genuinely, the, my favourite thing is being on the road with my best friends. Um, I think he used this guitar to put across his frustration of uh, pubescent teen. I think this is, would be the best description for that. Uh, having a laugh, playing great music, well, in my opinion, and just having a good time, to be honest. It's very, it's very non-serious and all fun, so I think that's probably my favourite feature, feature of touring. We, we, we decided that the touring crew in general, us three, are a little bit undisciplined, like we like to mess about, we're not particularly serious and we needed someone that was going to kick us into shape, or specifically Ben. Um, and we figured that maybe PG here would sort us out, we call him PG Tips. You know why that is? Because he gives us touring tips all the time. Dropping some knowledge. And he likes his cup of tea. <laughs> Ironically, it's black coffee, because fuck PG tips, they use monkeys in the advert. The craziest thing has just been seeing, seeing the, like, you guys, basically turning up to the shows and getting into it and knowing the songs and just giving us all that support and excitement about the band because it's, you know, it's just us three kind of doing our thing, making music that we enjoy and the fact that uh, you guys seem to be enjoying it is crazy. Hi, I'm Vincent. It's my birthday today. I've just watched Tosca play and it was amazing and uh, now I'm here to meet all the guys and it's so great. Thank you very much for the great show. Really appreciated it. See a little bit of a lake, mountains. After about 400 mountains, they're still epic, but they get a little less epic. But if you just look this way, you can probably see why I said let's have a little pullover and uh, just follow, just follow me around. See what I'm saying? Enough said, bro. <laughs> We're 
in Austria. Dave's on the phone, best not to disturb him, you know how he gets. Uh, this place is awesome, we're in, a, we're in a place called Salzburg and we're playing a show here tonight and we drove here late last night from Munich. Uh, so, Beer got up this morning, went for a walk, went in completely the wrong direction. He just texted me to say he's about half an hour away, kind of with nothing around. He headed away from the town centre. Not wise. This is Paul Gill. Hey. When did we meet? When did we meet? Must seven, have been like... Seven, eight years ago? Yeah, when we were all back at ACM. Yeah. And you were studying production with Dave, weren't you? I was studying production with Dave. And you were in a band called... Bravus. With our very old friend Vinny. And uh, yeah, and so Paul used to come around and hang. And like, I think, you know, it was said so we, we were acquaintances, but I wouldn't say that we were like besties. You know what I mean? B no. BFFs. I think the uh, the friendship bonded over time. I thought it deteriorated. With you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely some people I've met have been confused by the way that we all talk to each other, <laughs> thinking that, you know, we don't like each other. But actually, it's the opposite way around, isn't it? It's definitely the opposite. You, if, we, if we like each other, you get it worse, right? Yeah, I think, you know, you only talk like that if you're comfortable and, you know, you're good friends. So uh, just, to clar just to clarify, if, if Paul calls me a little bell end on camera... It's because you're a little fucking <laughs> bell end. In Austria, at the skate shop, this one's a bit Tusco on the system. It's cool. Salzburg. That was good. It's good fun. It was good fun. Do you want to come and be in the video, Beer? Now I want you to come be in my video. He's coming down. The forward one. How was your gig? I was saying, it, this was, this out of all the gigs, this has probably been the least amount of people, but something about those gigs is always the most fun. I don't know why. I think uh, it's, it's, it's less pressure, isn't it? Yeah, less pressure. It's like, you, you, know, you don't feel like there's as many people watching you, so you're more relaxed. Less eyes, but it was a great gig, great sound on stage. Good venue. Yeah. Good fun. Austria's beautiful. Yes. Dave's looking at buying a uh, converted, well no, a, a barn, a barn, a farmhouse to be rebuilt for an obnoxiously and small amount of money. he wasn't thinking about it, he found it and then you were like, absolutely go for it man, you should just go for it. I was like, get a mortgage Dave, get it done, get it rented out. Just move know? to Austria. Just Austria in general. I totally moved to Austria. It's, it, it's awesome. What's what's not to move here for? I think it'd be a good move, Dave, to move as far away from me as possible. Not like he's in a couple of bands and you know doing stuff. You know, just like seeing a bit, Dave. Yeah, okay. enjoy Austria. So Austria, here comes Dave Hollingworth. Like venues in Europe are really, really good. They definitely look after you a lot more uh, than venues in other places. And uh, you get great catering. They uh, they sort you out. You know what I mean? They really they really care and the sound's been really good, you know, like the sound systems and stuff and the techs, so it's been great, it's been great. I'm gonna go pack this stuff down right now uh, and then I'm gonna go to the merch stand and meet some peeps, uh, load up the van, go to the hotel, get some sleep, rinse and repeat. Uh, we're going really, really high on the cable car. Yeah, it's intense. I'm uh, freaking out a bit. How are you doing there? Not feeling it. Really? I'm all right. This is, uh, this is an experience, trying not to fall off the edge while I'm vlogging. That would be such an unfortunate demise, wouldn't it? It's, this is the highest I've ever been with, that isn't in a plane. Really? Yeah. Tour has been pretty awesome. We've had, to be fair, it's been the first time where we've come to Europe and we can see people actually following the band, supporting the band out here, which has been really awesome because they've come to the gigs and let us know that they've enjoyed the music and it's happy, they're happy that we're here playing. So that's been amazing. Um, and it's that typical cliche moment where you have to be stood up a mountain looking out over pretty much the entire of Salzburg and probably a lot more um, and go, yeah, this is pretty awesome that we get to do this as mates. Still, after 12 years and counting. Uh, and yeah, couldn't really, couldn't really ask for a better situation to be honest. So I'd say Tor was pretty epic.
I mean, I've never been here before and we've been here about two minutes. But already it's probably one of the most picturesque places I've been and it's night time. But um, so legit, so much culture and I love that kind of thing so I'm well excited. I really, really want some pesto. That's my goal, is to have a nice banging bit of pesto and pasta.